New at five, a new excitement over the future of an HBCU right here in Atlanta. Morris Brown College's accreditation has been finally restored after 20 years. The school struggled financially for decades, but now seems to be back on the right track. Our Joe Ripley reports as a result of regaining what was lost, the school expects enrollment and engagement to soar. Sharethia Brooks College tour took her to Atlanta's West End. She went to Clark Atlanta 20 years ago, but never graduated. Now Brooks plans to study psychology and earn her degree just down the road at Morris Brown College. The whole reset and the resurrection of this school. I just wanted to be a part of history. Brooks will attend Morris Brown on the heels of the school regaining its accreditation. It's what makes a school reputable as an institution that upholds a certain level of educational standards. That's a major factor because, you know, school is an investment, you know, so if you're going to spend the money to go to school, you want to make sure that those accredits are going to be able to, you know, stand so you can get your degree and start your career. Morris Brown lost its accreditation in 2002 after financial mismanagement. The school went into bankruptcy back in 2015. The Transnational Association of Christian Colleges and Schools approved Morris Brown's application to restore its accreditation this week. Morris Brown College officials tout that the school has one of the lowest tuition rates across the state of Georgia. Now that accreditation has been restored, students that attend Morris Brown will be eligible once again for federal financial aid. How you like us now? DeKalb County Sheriff Melody Maddox graduated from Morris Brown back in 1995, she credits the alumni, the school's president, Kevin James, and the community for never giving up on the school's road to redemption. And it's more than just, you know, the fact that it's history, but it's the fact that somebody paid a price for us to be able to get this education. Tradithia Brooks believes in the school's rebirth, banking on a personal rebound. If they can come back and, you know, get this school back open, then you can do the same thing. In Atlanta, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.